What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with Paige, and today we're going to be doing my half yearly check-in. So unlike the media freakout tag, which I'll leave linked up above, my half yearly check-in is just reflecting on the goals that I set. Uh, I did make a video for it at the end of December last year, I believe. And so I'm just gonna go over those goals and see how we're doing. I will also be referring to my handy dandy notebook uh, throughout this video, just because this is where I'm tracking majority of my reading. I have got Storygraph and Goodreads, but I find that physically marking off each series or whatever goal I have on the go, uh, just makes it a lot easier for me. So you'll be seeing this a lot. Alrighty, so my first goal was to read 52 books. We're at 73. Uh, actually, I think at time of filming, I'm now at 76. So um, since filming the mid-year freakout tag on the 3rd of July, it is now the 12th, I have read three books. So yeah, going good with that goal. Um, mentally, my stretch goal, or my like main goal, was 100. Um, still think I will hit that, considering I'm like 26 books ahead of schedule. So don't think it's going to be too much of a concern. Um, the way that I step my goals is from 52 to 75, 100, and so on. I am going to tentatively say that I'm going to hit 100 books. I'm pretty confident in that fact, but if I don't, that's okay. But 100 is like a nice happy number for me. If I go beyond, I don't really envisage like how much further, but I'll just be happy with however much I complete. Next up is 10 standalones off a particular list. So let's have a look and see, shall we? So ooh, you won't be able to see this, but that's this list here. We've got six marked off at the moment, potentially seven by the end of the month. So doing really well with that, on track for that. Very, very happy. Um, usually I sort of occasion I have doubled up and done two in one month, but usually it's just one a month that I'm not even consciously trying to. It's just what I read. My next goal is 10 series to completion or up to date by the end of 2021. So for example, I'm up to date with the Hell's Library series by um, AJ Hackworth, but I know that The God of Lost Words comes out in November, so that's not completed yet. I fully, fully, fully will pick it up the second it comes out, so I know I'll finish that series, but it's like, technically I can't count it now because I haven't read the third book, which I know is coming. So, in terms of series I have finished, I've done The Illuminate Files, Strange the Dreamer, Percy Jackson, Mistborn Era 1. I'm counting each of Sandy's as a separate series, not his Cosmere, like, I, they're individual series. Once Upon a Con is up to date, I'm not sure if there's any coming out by the end of the year, so that's a tentative and cry as war and the spider work chronicles so i've read holy shit i've read seven series to completion that is insane cry as war is only a duology and the spider work chronicles is literally it was the whole bind up so that's cool so my next goal it was to read 12 big books throughout the year i didn't have a set list of 12 that i wanted to read or like how i did last year with picking out 24 books and then reading 12 of those or six of, however it didn't work so I wrote out every big book that I own and I've just been pulling out from a jar. We have had some success, we have had not some success, but I've been doing pretty well. I've got 11, oh my god, I've read 11! One of those has been a 2021 purchase. I've literally only bought three books that are over 500 pages this year. So I don't accrue big books, but considering, sorry, excluding that, I've read 10 of my backlist big books, which is great. That is so exciting. I am so happy. I I thought I'd read six. I knew I'd been keeping on top of it, so technically, yeah. What the fuck? When did I read these? I don't know. But I'm really, really happy with that. Um, so yay, that's, that's fantastic. I'm near my big book goal. I might try and stretch it. I'm not sure how. <sighs> At this rate, if we're halfway through, technically I could go for 24. Do I double it? We'll see. No, I won't double it because I won't. Maybe if I go to 20, that's eight on top. That works out a little bit better. Just, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read two big books a month continuously, that's all. But yay, oh my God. 
that's fantastic. I'm so excited. Originally my goal was to read six, but since opening it up and having the freedom to just pick the big books, like it's just, if I feel like reading it and it's a big book, I count it and that's great. So I'm thrilled. Oh my God, so excited. Alrighty, and on to my next goal, which is to complete the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge. Let's see where that one is. So it's very colorful. <coughs> I've done quite well. I have 12 of the regular prompts, which is out of 40, um, left to go, and I have two of the advanced. So out of the 52, I have only 14 to go, which is insane. Um, last year's prompts, I did not get along with. I didn't feel like reading anything that sort of matched them. It was just very, it was focused on 2020 and like vision, Olympics, all of that stuff, and it just, none of it's appealed to me. This, however, I've just been working into my reading and it's going fantastically. I have 11 books out of the 14, like, ideas for which ones I want to choose. And then the last story, I'm just like, ones you've seen on someone else's bookshelf. So any fucking book you book, I've probably already checked this off. I just haven't assigned it to someone. Um, a book published anonym anonymously and a book with an oxymoron in the title. So just haven't gone through and done those and I need to actively seek out some books just to put it in. Fuck, I'm doing so well. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. My next goal is, is not been doing so well. <laughs> and that is to read two books from every month of my 2020 book haul. So I needed to read, let's see, we'll see how many I've read. So that would be 24 books I read 16, which is fantastic, except four of those came from December and three of them came from September. So if I wanted to be keeping it to every month, I need one more in January, the two that were for March, two for April, one more for May, two for July, one more for August, one more for October, and one more for November. So hitting the two books from each month, not so good. Just reading them though, doing good. So I might make it a little bit more of a focus just to keep it in the back of my mind that I need to be prioritizing the months that I haven't got to yet. It shouldn't be too challenging, but at the same time, mm, um, I'm concerned. Oh, fuck, that was from February. God damn it. I haven't marked off one that I read. Oh, I got so excited that was for January. It was not. But that's all right. So now I have. 17 and 3 from February. We'll, we'll see how this turns out at the end of the year. Alrighty, my second last bookish goal was the Buzzwordathon, and th this was in sort of like, I don't really care if I don't complete it, but it's something I would like to do. And every month I have checked it off so far. In January, the buzzword was dream or, or like dream related words. So I read Muse of Nightmares for. Oh, actually, I don't know if that's right. So for January, he selected the word dream on my bookshelf to look over the menu, the dreamers, dreams from many rivers, the dream thieves, in and out of the dream. These are series which would be fun to be read throughout the year, using different buzzwords to complete the series by the end of the year. So this is the thing on my shelf. If I were building my TBR and participating for dreams, it's like it's from dreaming. I also have a book I can't find because my shelves are healthy like dreams. So basically, read the word, post better on social media. That's it. That's all there is to it for February. <sighs> I'm so devastated. So it was dream and I thought it was a thematic one. So I put down Muse of Nightmares. It was not a thematic one. It needed to have dream in the title. I've literally just finished a book being do androids dream of electric sheep. Many sighs. Oh well. Okay. So technically I didn't check off January's in January, but I've checked it off now. February was the theme of Jewel and I went with Amber and Dusk. March was the word time. Again, thought this was a thematic one. So was going to read Hero of Ages. I still read Hero of Ages, but I ended up reading the time machine when realizing that it had to be the actual word. Then we had space theme for April and I went with a galaxy in the ground within. 
and for May the word was house and I read the house at the edge of magic and then June the theme was a name and I read Alice so aside from fucking January I've done this goal and I did it well fucking dipshit the other uh, goal if I get to it maybe yeah okay cool is my book bucket list so I have a hundred book bucket list poster and a scratcher map and for this goal I had to read one that's it because I completely neg neglected I'm never ever scratching it off because I just don't go towards those kinds of books I've read two and I'm thrilled so I read The Time Machine, um, completely accidental, I was just needing a book with the word time in it and I wanted to buy the Penguin Library Edition, so we got the Penguin Library Edition, I read it, it was extremely short, and then I realised it was on my bucket list, so that was great. And then I read Do Andrew's Dream of Electric Sheep for fulfilling other goals. Pop Sugar. Oh, oh I haven't marked that off. See, this is, this is why I need to not film this halfway through a month, because I haven't actually got myself caught up but anyway all good this is fine we're good everything's fine so in terms of my goals i'm doing fantastically i'm feeling really proud i've accomplished a lot this year um so i am so ecstatic that my reading hasn't suffered and i can still be reading the things and doing the goals that i want to i forgot a goal and this is one that I wanted to actively sort of pursue and that is to read my rainbow. So I have a rainbow shelf and I wanted to be reading books from that. I in particular wanted to read two books from every colour. So I have read The Bone Season and Little Women, both that have red spines. I've read Muse of Nightmares and To Be Taught If Fortunate, which have orange spines. I've read The Outsiders and Am I Normal Yet for a yellow spine. I've read The Hunger Games for a green spine. My edition is green. I don't even know where it is. Anyway. And then I've read Beartown for my blue. I've read Amber and Dusk and Matilda for all my purple. And I've read All My Gods for my pinks. So I'm definitely going to be trying to get to Queens of Geek, which is my last pink spine. I need to pick a blue and I need to pick a green. So I think I'm going to check this off. Not too worried. I would love to read all of it, but I just don't think it's feasible. It's not ones that I instantly gravitate towards. In terms of channel goals, I wanted to reach 750 subs by the end of the year. I'm at 812. <laughs> I am so, so thankful for everyone being a part of this family and I know I'm shitty at responding to comments um, in a timely fashion but I will respond eventually, it just takes me a minute. I am so thankful for everyone that's been so supportive throughout this journey and I just, I can't fathom that there are 800 people that were like, yes, I want to keep watching your, your content. Like, what the fuck? That's insane. Obviously, I didn't, I don't, the numbers are just indicative of family growth for me. It's, it's not something that's important, but I love that we are able to form a community and we are able to make connections in such different ways. That's what I love and that's why growing a big happy family fills me with so much joy. Secondly, was Not Safe Workathon continuing and we took a hiatus in June, whenever it was supposed to run. I just couldn't. <laughs> I was at capacity. My mental health was so shit that if I had have tried to run a readathon, I just, I would have completely melted. So we put it on hold. It will be coming back in September. It will be glorious. And there will be things that are happening on the 6th of the 9th. So I'm very keen to continue on with this readathon. I love it so much. We have all our prompts ready to go. And I think the next video you'll be seeing from me is that actual announcement. So keep your eyes tuned. And if you want to subscribe, so then you can hear about this and like grow the family, join all the fun things, like please. <laughs> but yeah, so very happy I've kept that going, but also happy that I took a break. It was definitely well needed and yeah. The third channel goal I wanted to do was more collaborations and I certainly have been doing that. I've been on a lot more lives with a variety of different people and I wanted to branch out and make more friends and just a bigger sense of community and I feel like I'm branching into little 
areas and I feel like Antonisha Lachey and Amy from A Start Reads, they've just become wonderful people in my life and we continue to just expand and add more people and it's been great. Um, so yeah, I definitely am proud of that and we, I did a collaboration with Luke um, earlier in the year so I gave him a book based off his favourite movies and he gave me a book and yeah it was really interesting and I was very very happy um, just doing all these different things so if you have an idea for a collaboration and you want to be doing something hit me up because <laughs> I'm excited and number four <laughs> the only technical goal I've failed. That was Library of the Unread, which was my Discord group. For me, that was my error. I disbanded the Discord, deleted it, whatever, at the beginning of June when my mental health was just going down because it wasn't the right platform for me to be working with. I could not dedicate the amount of time needed for a Discord to grow, especially in a book club. For me, Facebook is definitely a better avenue for that sort of thing. Just being able to jump on, post something randomly, jump off again, post memes, that sort of stuff. I don't have the facilities or the knowledge to be able to run a Discord to the best of its ability. And I realized that wasn't the right platform to have Library of the Unread on. So it's disbanded, no biggie. It was worth a shot. And I think I'm just gonna keep to going to other people's um, book clubs because I don't have time. <laughs> so technically I have failed that goal, but I gave it a damn hot good go. And I can see it coming back later in another platform, different sort of way, but who knows. That's my half yearly check-in. I am so proud that I've accomplished so much already in the first half of the year. I cannot wait for the final half of this year. My last assignment is submitted either on the 12th or the 14th of October and you damn well know I am going to fucking lose my mind coming up to that point and then finalizing it. My master's degree is almost done and I can dedicate my time in the nights rather than to studying to actual fun things like reading. I am so, so, so excited. <laughs> and considering I've completed all of this while still studying, I'm fucking proud of myself. Let me know in the comments if you had any goals that you set and if you're reflecting on them now, how have they worked out for you? Are you doing well? Do you need some productivity sprints that I usually do on a Saturday or a Sunday to get yourself a little bit further in those or are you happy with that how you are? Are you just gonna throw them out the window like Library of the Unread? Because that is also a very valid thing to do with goals. If you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!